hi everyone. My name is Duke. Welcome to Let's Play Super House of Dead Ninjas Live Edition. Uh, the reason I chose to do a live stream, even though the rest of the series has been an LP, is because now that I, now that I'm done with normal mode, I thought I should go in and try some of the harder modes. And I imagine this will be a lot more like the Binding of Isaac or Spelunky, where it's going to be a lot more of me uh, trying and dying over and over again, which I think that just plays better as a live stream than it does as an, as an LP. And I haven't I haven't really streamed anything besides Saints Row or Spelunky recently, so I thought I would uh, thought I'd try it out. Uh, let me see the chat. Done. Okay, so I haven't picked up anything cool since last time, since because I haven't played since last time. Uh, let's see, do I want to stick with the whip or go back to the sword? I like the whip. I think I'll keep that. Uh, I have gotten some some throwing items that I haven't used yet. Well, just one, I guess. It can be reused over and over again, but has a short range. It might be useful. I don't know. I do not like the grenade at all. Like, I don't know why this is even here. I guess it has annoying right in the name, so uh, it makes sense that uh, it's not the best. And I guess I'll keep the wind magic. Doesn't really seem to be any better or worse than the lightning magic. Uh, I'll try the boomerang. Sure, why not? And this is all uh, passive stuff. It's been a while, everyone. So let me uh, let me get reacquainted with with how how everything works. I wonder why that's called the Ziggurat suit. I wonder if that has anything to do with the iOS game Ziggurat. That game looks pretty cool. Makes me wish I had an iOS device. Oh well, I guess that's good enough. Alright, so I finished normal, so I'm going to switch myself over to hard. And uh, I'll, I, I'll just be starting on the roof. Now my understanding is that on hard mode, you always start from the roof. Uh, it doesn't have the checkpoints that, nor that normal mode has, so I won't be able to start from the Abyss of Nature or the Royal Sanctum. And other than that, I'm not sure what the difference between hard and normal is, and I'm not sure what transdimensional leakage is, but uh, I guess I'll find it out. Now the thing about this game is that it's so frantic, I won't be able to watch the, the chat as much as I normally do, but uh, whenever I have a chance to, to you know, take a break and uh, see what people are saying, I will do that. You know, whenever, uh... <laughs> Maybe I should've just, kept, should've just kept my rage going. But uh, whenever you stop to get an item, or stop when you're about to enter, shit, enter a boss room, uh, the timer stops. Or when you talk to the ghost. Shit. I still have not figured out what the letters do, but I assume if I collect all of them, it'll be something good. Oh hey, that's that uh, automatic rage pickup that I unlocked. That's the first time I've seen that. Or it might not be auto automatic, it might just be faster rage or something. Or, or it might give me... build up some of my rage meter. Wow, this rage is lasting a pretty long time. Uh, by the way, uh, if if the sound is messed up or or there's an issue with the stream, you know, please let me know. The uh, last Saints Row video hasn't gone up yet. There's a little bit of editing I want to do before uh, before I put it up, but that should be up hopefully tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, the day after that. I thought it was one of the best uh, Saints, Row, Saints Row 4 episodes yet. We did a lot of cool stuff in that episode. But uh, I understand that that sort of game isn't really everyone's jam, so... Yeah, I understand. Oh, okay, apparently I picked up the X-ray glasses at some point. I didn't notice that. Sound is good, video is good, excellent. Thank you, Galen. 
Uh, Galen Aurelia just started an NLP of The Legend of Zelda, the original NES version, which I encourage all of you to check out. The uh, first video just went up today, and uh, I really like that game. I was never any good at the original Le Legend of Zelda, or you know any of the Zelda games really, but uh, it's fun watching someone who knows what they're doing play. Give me your money. Nice. I'm glad I figured out that uh, keeping your rage going is pretty important in this game. Makes it a good deal easier, actually. Before I realized, you know, how vital that is. It, uh... Caused me to take a lot of damage that I otherwise wouldn't have been taking because I should have just been raging through the whole way. Oh yeah, I can just run through these fights when I'm raging. I'm invincible to everything, not just enemies. Everything. All right, made it to the first boss. Took three points of damage, which is kind of a bummer. Well, you're, I mean, you're way better than me, Galen. Like, I would not even know what to do in that game. A uh, uh, pass like the second dungeon, I think. I, I would have no idea how to continue. That, that's, a, that's the farthest I've ever made it without looking it up. Have I fought this guy before? Ferocious Lion. Oh shit. Hmm. I, f I forget if this is the first boss or not. It's been a while. Well, shit. I, uh, I have plenty of time to figure it out, so uh... Shit. I mean, it doesn't seem like he would be that hard as long as I just figure out his pattern. Now, I'm curious as to whether you can respawn exactly where you were on hard mode or if. Oh. No respawning at all. No continues. Wow. Okay. Uh, that will make hard mode quite a bit trickier. But, uh. I mean, I'm having fun playing this game again. Like, this game, this game feels extremely solid. Like, it is almost on, uh, on, like, Splunky levels, as far as, like, how good the controls feel. You know, how much, how much of a joy it actually is for me to play. Oh, by the way, I didn't really show this off in previous videos. At least I don't think I did. But uh, they give you a way to skip that whole tutorial area, which it never really came up because I was always I was always skipping straight to one of the later areas. You know, I didn't redo the roof over and over again. But uh, next time I die, I will uh, I will take the shortcut. Die, die, die! Oh, rage ran out. Oh well. Also glad I figured out that super jump. I still get... I'm still not sure how to get in these tight corridors though. Like... Like, I always end up wall jumping. Or wall clinging. And I can't, I can't figure out how to actually get in there. If there's like something I'm missing. Oh well. I mean... If I die, it's not that big of a deal since... You know, it's still pretty early. In the run. Oh, what? I thought I was still raging. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I was flashing for a different reason. Nice. I'll take that. Okay, magic works for me. Oh. Rage is over. But yeah, this game might end up being a, uh, not a very talkative stream because this is the kind of game that's hard to talk a lot while you play. What's that? Uh, there was like a question mark off in the uh, like the periphery. I'm not sure what that was. It was on like the right, the lower right hand side of the screen. Bodacious. Thank you. That was pretty bodacious. Yeah, there it is again. That flashing question mark down on the bottom of the screen. Not sure what that means. Can I mouse over these items? Okay. 
Just a ball of dubious phantasmagoria. Have I unlocked that? That doesn't sound familiar. I wonder, uh... Oh, yeah, Morse right there. Don't think I've killed him yet. Sorry, Morse. I mean, not sorry, you know. I had to do it. Did I... Is my rage... Still going? Seems like I just got hit there. Okay. Need to remember my shurikens, too. I have not been using those a whole lot. Now this run is not going very well. I'm thinking that Phantasmagoria Crystal Ball thing is kind of like the, uh... The insanity effect in Rogue Legacy, where you see things that aren't actually there. But I'm not sure. I have to I have to look at my items and see if I can figure out what that is. Okay, so this enemy I've definitely fought before, because I remember. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. I have the boomerang. I don't even have to worry about running out of stuff. I do have to worry about the limited range though. But uh, I remember getting the. Uh... The unlockable for killing Spite. Alright, well, I got one extra life out of that. See, there's that. <laughs> I didn't even realize that clicking attacks. Can I move with the mouse? Or is that just... Huh. Weird. Yeah, do not know what that is. Yeah, Iron Man, exactly. I was not sure that would be the case, but, uh... Makes sense. Shit. Takes longer to throw. Well, I mean, it definitely takes longer. You can only throw one at a time. Which is an issue. Not like with the normal shuriken, where you can just kind of spam them. So, uh... I'm a raging. Are there any machines around? I'd really like to rage against them. Aw. I killed that guy. Might have... Shit. Might have been able to keep my rage going. I actually don't know if my rage clock stopped when I... When I stopped to talk to the ghost. I have to, uh, I have to double check that. Oh shit, stupid wooden boards preventing me from keeping my rage going. I don't have a lot of life left. Shit. Wait, did I? Oh my god, look at this crap. Nope. Oh well. I got something. What to get? I got two things. Ruby nunchucks and mild discomfort. Deflect projectiles away. Interesting. And the gun. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what the gun does. And I guess I might as well try the nunchucks out again. Now, let's see if I can figure out what that crystal ball thing was. Oh, shows location of nearby items. Okay. So I guess that's just any item? Weird, it didn't seem like that was showing up a lot. I know, Galen, what the what the hell? How was I supposed to do that? I guess I was supposed to have been raging by the time I got to that point. Let's try, uh, let's try Fuchsia. Fuchsia is, it might be better luck, I don't know. Just realized that, uh, oh wait, what, what is this? Points out location of secret walls and hidden enemies, oh. I must have unlocked a lot of stuff for beating the game that I didn't really look carefully at, but uh, might be a little copyright infringement going on with the Batman logo there. I don't know. Seems dubious. All right, the roof. Oh yeah, this is a shortcut. You just bomb there, and uh, your timer doesn't start until you actually get into the uh, the proper game. Wow, the range on these is really short. I guess it's the same as the normal nunchucks, but, uh, I don't know, being able to deflect projectiles might be cool, if I can ever time it right. 
Oh yeah, the gun. Oh, crap. Nice. I didn't realize there was a kill everything on the screen pick up either. I think I might like the gun. I mean, it's not very ninja-like of me to use a gun. Oh, crap. Oh my god. Okay, so it's not... It's not just, uh... There, there are things to hard mode that aren't just uh, not having any continues and having to start from the beginning every time. Like, there are definitely, like, level layouts that haven't showed up previously. Or section of the level layout. Oh, crap. Alright. So, yeah, my Rage Clot definitely keeps keeps counting down in these item rooms. It only stops the main timer. So, what does the familiar do again? Oh wait, I can't actually see. It just tells me the name of it. Something about pointing out secret rooms. Which sounds like it might be cool. I'll have to, uh... I have to pay closer attention than I normally do. Crap, should've got that clock. Oh well, too late now. Go, 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 go. Man, I've been doing a lot more speedrunning than, uh, than I ever thought I would do recently. Between Splunky and this... I mean, I know this isn't exactly speedrunning because I'm not going for, like, a, a world record or anything, but, like, the style of play is very speedrunning-esque. I mean, the gun doesn't really do a lot of damage or anything. It still takes two hits to kill these guys, but the fact that it's just an instant, you know... It just... it seeks them out. Oh, hey! Oh, the familiar can help you get that stuff. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to get it without the familiar. Well, that's pretty cool. How many shots do I have? 30? Okay. That seems pretty good. Give me your R. I don't know what it does, but I want it. Man, I... Oops. Oh, you... Bullshit! I used my, uh, my spin attack. Alright, it's this guy again. It should be doable. Hmm. Okay. Just have to time this right. This is kind of fun, actually. I probably shouldn't be wasting all my ammo, but dang it, it's pretty fun. I'm forgetting about my magic too. All right, well, I got the crystal ball again, so hopefully that will, uh... Maybe the effect like com will combine with my familiar, so to give me like a double indication of when there's a secret item to get. That'd be pretty cool. Be a little bit more noticeable, I think. Hi, Thwomps. Oh shit! You can't just uh, run through them like you might be able to. What was that? In a Mario game, something just thanked me. Oh, do I have the monkey bane? Yeah, I do. They're they're actually running from me. I keep reading that as monkey bone. I'm like, no. Bones. I don't want Brendan Fraser to be in this game. I understand the movie was not great. Oh shit. Life, yes, but I got hit, so just cancelled out anyway. And some of these layouts are kind of insidious. Insidious. I can never say that word correctly. I should probably stop saying it. Oh god. Oh shit. Forgot about the the tell for that dragon. The little spiky thing.
Hey, after all, what's up? Shit. Damn it, LL. Why can't you be as cool as your namesake? Oh, got some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, I guess this stuff where you have to reach for 200 or 150 of the basement. I guess that has to be from the beginning, or else it doesn't unlock. That makes sense. Hey, okay, five extra seconds. I'm not going to sneeze at that at all. Absorbs one hit from any projectile, then shatters. Nice. And have a, a soul heart. A little hit point boost. Alright, well, let's keep this train rolling. Of course, I might want to actually go through the tutorial every time because I, uh, I'll pretty much always get a rage from it off the bat. You know, it'd be cool to keep that rolling as long as possible. Oh, neat. Don't think I've unlocked that yet. I should probably switch back from the nunchucks. I think I've reflected one projectile since I started using them. I think I misused the word namesake back then, back there. I think the LL in this game, uh, LL Cool J, was that person's namesake, not the other way around. I said LL Cool J, or uh, they were LL Cool J's namesake. Wait, no, I, I used it right. Why can't you be as cool as your namesake? Actually, I'm not sure. Second guessing myself now. I have to say, having the uh, having the area of effect of your attack go all the way around your body like that is pretty nice. Out of rage, yeah. I should probably okay. Remember what my magic button is. I'm better on the rages this time around. Got the shield. I said it's only projectiles, so I have to remember that doesn't protect me from like spikes and stuff. That'll probably be difficult for me to remember. That flashing is a little bit annoying on the shield. Or maybe it's just flashing because I'm raging. Am I still raging? Looks like it. Am I... Oh no, I guess I wasn't. See, that's a little bit confusing. I couldn't tell if I was raging or not because of the way the shield was flashing. Alright, is it going to be Spite again? Yep. Kind of hard to time. You can get into a rhythm with them though. I wonder if bombs count like projectiles. Oh shit. Oh, maybe it isn't. He had not just projectiles. Or maybe I got hit by his bomb, not him. Alright, well, back up to full health after the boss. This is the best run I've had so far this stream. If I had my whip, I could get that ammo. Oh, well. Oh, bullshit! Are those buzzsaws in the normal game? don't remember though. I mean, there's really no reason I should specifically nice be going after money because it's- well, I guess there are unlocks depending on your score, so I guess it is actually important. I mean, I don't really care about like high scores under normal circumstances. 
go my gamer cred or anything like that. Unless it's something like Flappy Birds or Swing Copters or something, where the whole game is just the, the score run. Hi, Skelly. Oh, wait. I have a ton of these letters now. What, uh... Oh, they disappeared. I got the W and... The heck is this? Oh, shit. I don't know, it's not giving me a name when I mouse over. Did I get that for collecting all the letters? I didn't notice if it spelled anything or not. I just noticed I had a ton, and then I collected that W and they went away. Did anyone in the stream catch that? What it said? If it did say anything? I mean, it didn't look like it was actually spelling a word. Nice. Got an unlock. Don't know what it was. I lost something. Oh shit! Bull crap. Holy shit. I don't get rage from this. Hey, got a one up. For some reason. Might have been uh, score related, I guess. Should have been more careful when I went after that huge cluster of ninjas. I got fixated on it. Killing them all quickly so I can get the, uh, oh, bullshit, so I can get the rage. Hey, what's up, Koss? In the original House of Dead Ninjas. Well, that information does not help me. Oh, man. Come on, enemy. Kill, kill, kill. Gotta keep killing. Oh man, I forgot about that. But I've taken quite a bit of damage. How's hard mode different? Uh, you don't have continues. You have to start over from the beginning every time. And the level layouts have a lot more difficult things in them. Like uh, really difficult spike areas and stuff. Alright, this should actually be pretty easy now that I know about the super jump. The, the problem I had last time was that that's a very difficult jump to make if you're not super jumping. I mean, I hate to shoot a turtle in the back, but, uh, well, not this turtle. Man, I wish I had my whip. Yeah, not a fan of the nunchucks, like even the ones that, that can reflect projectiles. My reaction time just isn't good enough that uh, that's ever useful. Oh, bull crap! I totally jumped over this guy. Watching my stream before bed? Oh cool, I appreciate you uh, hanging out for a little bit. I need to do like a Europe friendly stream at some point. The stream at like 10 in the morning my time or something. So it'll be early to mid afternoon for, for people not in the US or for people, uh, you know, in that time zone. Oh cool, I got the uh, bonus time. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god, there were like three of them. Oh shit. Forgot the, uh, the jump attack. Probably would not work that well on these guys. Nice. Heck yes, Rage. Out of ammo. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on. And this game kind of reminds me of like Shinobi for the PS2. The way you just have to keep constantly killing all the time. No, I still have bullets. I guess I was shooting and I just... I couldn't see the uh... See the animation. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool when she slashes them. Unfortunately, we don't get that in hard mode. All we get is the horrific Game stabbing sequence. Over. Well, I think I unlocked a shitload of stuff that time. I saw the uh, mm -hmm. the unlock pop up quite a few times. So let's see what I got. Oh, I have the maximum amount of life now. Awesome. Plus two magic upgrade. Nice. I guess I just kill 200 monsters in one playthrough. Because I've killed way more than that, I'm sure. And Magnet. Pulls discarder shurikens towards me. Oh, that's cool. Of course, I'm using the, uh, the gun, so that doesn't really help me. Although, I might want to switch back to a shuriken now. Hmm. I do like the gun. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely want to switch back to the whip, though. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do another run. Just give me one moment, please. Sorry. BRB. Oh damn, see you later, Koss. Thanks for hanging out a little bit. Okay, I should probably... look at one or two of these challenges and see if I can figure out, like... like, have a couple goals in mind that I'm working towards instead of, instead of just unlocking stuff as I go. So, okay, what do I have to get do to get this? Defeat any minion with only your katana. Okay, so that's, that's, a, that's one of the bosses, right? When it says minion. Oh, okay. I don't want this for killing a boss in under 30 seconds. Well, if I... Hmm. I wonder if it, if by katana it means any of these weapons, like... Like, I have to kill it without using shurikens or magic, but, like, the whip, for example, would be fine. Or if it has to be the katana. I mean, I, I guess since, since it specifically says katana, I should probably go with katana. Because the turtle actually wouldn't be that hard to kill without using any projectiles or anything now that I know about the super jump. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to uh, do the tutorial just to get the starting rage, because, you know, why not? And I got hit during the tutorial. Of course. Oh wait, D does the damage not actually count here? Because it doesn't look like... Oh, I guess I'm past the tutorial now. Probably shouldn't have done that. I certainly got a little cocky there, didn't I? Oh, I'll just breeze through the tutorial to get the rage. You know? Because, you know, that's obviously a foregone conclusion. I wonder if the gun also does double damage when I'm raging. Nope. Just the katana. Well, my rage might have expired by that point. Hard to tell. 
Man, I like the gun. I like the gun a lot. I mean... It might technically not be that much better than the shuriken, because the shuriken is pretty dang fast. But, uh... I don't know, just so something about that instant gratification of the gunshot just really appeals to me. Man, I sound like a crazy person when I say that. Don't take that out of context. The instant gratification of shooting the gun. You lost video, really? Uh, how about now? Oh, you know what? I'm using a different method to uh, switch over to the BRB screen, and I think, like, when I clicked out of OBS, or minimized it, it, uh, hmm, I don't know, can, can you see it now? Okay, yeah, sorry, wow, sorry about that. I probably should have tested that before I, uh, before I went live in a stream using that method. See, before I just had, I had one scene. And, uh, and I would just, well, I don't, I don't want to bore you with the technical details, but, uh, I switched it pretty much just because of that cool, like, fade-out transition when I go to the VRB screen, but, uh, it caused me to mess up. Oh, shit. I should have just, uh... Keep going. I mean, I would have lost my rage, but I lost my rage anyway. You idiot. Yes, I'm an idiot. I know. You don't have to say it, game. Apparently, no one ever told the announcer. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, this is not going as well as the previous run. I got all flustered because I messed up my video stream. Alright, so... I have to kill the boss with only the katana. I unlock whatever that weapon is. Alright, should be able to do this with spite. It's a little trickier than than the turtle. Shit! Maybe a lot trickier than the turtle. I mean, I don't even know what I get for doing this, other than... It's a weapon. I think it was like an upgrade to the katana or something. I forget if it actually said. Shit. Yep, it's an upgraded katana. You can tell by the, the by the little icon thing. Well, it definitely says here over there. Here am I. Wish I knew what collecting all the litters did, because I did it at least once. At least I assume, because they all, uh, shit, they all disappeared. I don't know how to get those without the power of falling into the spikes. I mean, the sprite definitely intersected with my sprite, but uh, I guess it did not count as a collision. Ammo. I love those vertical shafts where you just plunge down and kill five enemies in a row. It almost always gives you a rage. Oh, okay. So rage mode ammo does do double damage. It's not just the uh, not just the weapon. Oh, hey, the familiar's up there. Should definitely grab that. And the extra specs. I bet those, uh, those power-ups I was having trouble getting, uh, the familiar would help me with those as well. Oh god! 
I got a double dragon. Almost. Bull honky. Yeah, 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 stab. Alright, well, let's see what weapon I just unlocked. Miffed Barbarians. That's great to always be heads enemies. Just, so does that mean it kills everything in one hit? That'd be pretty nice. Still do like the whip though. Alright, what do I have to do to get this one? Kill Rage. I guess that's a specific minion that I haven't encountered yet. And enemies with the... Oh, okay. So this is a Kusarigama. And I need to do something with the with the Kusari Gama to get this. Okay, so yeah, it makes sense that I do something with the with the katana to get that. Oh, that's just uh. Oh, never mind. Okay. So uh, can't get this yet. Can't get this yet. Two minions and I've Argus in one go. Okay, well that that will happen eventually. Defeat Horror, another minion I haven't encountered. Disgust, yep, same same deal. DLC pack! Wow, upselling me in the game. Alright, what do I have to do, get, do to get this? Cut down four enemies and one go with the boomerang. Okay. Is there, a, uh, is there an upgraded gun I can get, maybe? Or something something involving shooting the gun? Oh, 250,000 points to get that, wow. Don't have the axe yet. Kill Doom. I haven't encountered <clears throat> that person. Hmm. Oh, 30 monsters in a row with the gun. Oh, so that means 30 monsters without using my weapon. Wow, that would be tough. For those monsters that uh, that take two hits. Because 30 is your max ammo. Also, you wouldn't be able to miss. Be a little easier in rage mode to do that. Rescue 50 fairies. Wow, I haven't even encountered those. Don't have that yet. Thousand projectiles in a single game, huh? And DLC pack. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry too much about those. What about these? These would be very helpful. Reach floor 50. Okay. So yeah, this is this is stuff that's just gonna happen eventually. Destroy 25 things with bombs in one run. 50 with bombs. 75. Okay. So if I kill 300 monsters in one playthrough, I get this. Okay, so a lot of stuff that will probably just happen eventually as I play. Not not a lot that I... Oh, wait. I have a ticket to this now. I, oh, okay, so that's what collecting all the letters did. It gave me a ticket to do transdimensional leakage. I assume that's what that means. It looks like a ticket. I didn't realize you needed something special to do this. Well, let's see what it is. Oh god. I mean, I mostly just did this because I want to see what happens. See, see what happens if you do this without a ticket. It's a pretty weird looking area. Shit. I can't tell if this is actually harder than what I was doing or if I'm just freaking out. What the hell hit me? What the? Oh, that thing in the background. That's that's an obstacle. Okay, this is definitely harder than the normal thing. Oh, I thought that might have been one of the fairies, but that was an enemy. Okay, um... Can I retry? Oh my god. Sweet, I'm raging. Oh, I can't kill those with normal weapons. Ran out of rage. Oh well. Damn, I should have tried these levels sooner. This is some crazy stuff. Thank you. That was pretty gnarly. Love that sound effect. 
Oh god. Did not realize there were statues there. Okay, so the parachute isn't just a one-time use thing, I guess. Oh, not enough. No, no, not enough headroom to do the super jump here. I'm not sure the parachute is actually that helpful to be honest, because I don't think there's fall damage. I mean, I guess there are situations where I want to slow. Oh man, that thing like explodes in the fire. But uh, yeah, there are situations where I want to fall more slowly. But uh, usually, dang it, usually I want to uh, fall as quickly as possible to kill as many enemies on the way as I can. How am I supposed to do this? Well, that was bull honky. Those things aren't allowed to just stay there. Oh my god. wonder if the bosses of, of trans-dimensional kids are any different. I got some sort of achievement. I have to figure out what that was. See if that corresponds to, uh, to one of the upgrades. Well, that was pretty nuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't even use my own bombs. But 25 fiends died to bombs during the course of that run. From the bomb throwing enemies. Okay. That's good to know. Alright. Stick with the whip and the gun. I only have one bomb type, so... Oh, okay, this should be pretty easy to get. Finish a minion off with a bomb. So when a boss has one hit point left, I can do that. Talk to Smither three times. I think Smither is the guy who uh, who spawns with the three chests, like where, where you get to pick one and get an item. Burn myself to death. Oh, I pro that's probably with the Molotov. So kill the first minion without, reach the first minion without killing any monsters. Okay, so these are all gonna be doable, but tough, it looks like. Trap no bomb, don't have that. Play the game 50 times. Alright. I was no trouble there. Very true. EX minion. Hmm. Five five minutes underwater. Good lord. Okay. So those tickets do do something. And there's an, an upgrade related to them. So can I do transdimensional leakage even though I don't have a ticket? No, I can't. That, that option is not available. Alright. I'm learning all kinds of stuff about this game. So it looks like once I have a ticket, I can retry transdimensional leakage as much as I want. But as soon as I go back to the main menu, then uh, then it's not accessible again. <clears throat> so I learned what those letters do. Didn't didn't learn what they actually spell, but it's probably not that important. Aw. Can't get an item through the wall. There we go, that's how I envisioned the tutorial area going. Just kind of wrecking stuff and getting through it. See if I can get that uh, 30 enemies with a gun achievement. Well, probably not now that I'm no longer raging. And this stuff takes two hits. Unless I keep picking up ammo. What? I didn't hit the whip button, I hit the gun. Oh, I'm out of shots, okay. Man, that's gonna be a hard one to get. Maybe once my uh, once my ammo capacity is greater, that'll be, shit, that'll be easier. Oh, I did not take advantage of that rage. You butthole. I whipped you twice. Shut up. I don't gotta be careful. I have a gun. Oh, I guess I have to actually talk to him to, to get that achievement for talking to him three times. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. You ain't dreaming. That is a good looking skeleton. I 
feel myself improving at this game. And let me tell you, getting a good run in this, super satisfying. Man, a five minutes underwater achievement or a unlock, that's gonna be. That's gonna be tricky. Aw, I was hoping that would give me some rage. Oh, hey! It's like a huge treasure just sitting there. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think any of the upgrades are tied to your score. I sure didn't notice any that said, get. Well, there was one that was like 250,000 points, I think. But uh, most of them don't seem to be related to your score. Oh, that's a pretty good reach. I approve. Alright. So, I don't remember what some of the boss related challenges were. Uh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is one, one of the bosses I haven't killed yet. Well, I already got the uh, the only use of katana achievement, so I'm just gonna go to town with this guy. Go to town on this guy with my gun. Still took a lot of damage there, though. All right, so let's see what that one achievement was. Oh, the bump has started an event. Well, damn. I should uh, I should get get in there. I don't want to miss one of the bumps events. Oh, right, right, right. Gr Grenadier. 20 enemies with bombs in one game. Okay. It just didn't seem like I got that achievement because I wasn't actually the one throwing the bombs. Aw, missed the parachute. Oh well. Oh, ran out of rage. See, I really wish there was a different effect for running out of rage and uh, and getting hit. Because when, when they both make you flash, make it a little confusing. Because, like, is my rage still going or did I just get hit? I can't tell. Hey, how come that water was, wasn't was draining out of the bottom like that? That's not physically possible. Oops! Oh god. I got a curse item. Didn't mean to. Oh, okay. 100,000 points. I guess that's why I, why I got a 1-up. Hey, Smither. Me too, man. Me too. Aw. Just points. Definitely want to focus on getting the, the letters now. Now that I know there's an achievement for getting... Or an upgrade for getting three of those tickets. I feel like my commentary is all over the place again tonight, but uh, I think it always is when I play this game. Oh hey, I got a green suit. RPG... Oh, end boss. This is going a little too fast for me to read. Wait, what is that? It's probably just points. Yeah. Quite a few points, though. Heck yeah! Man, that's satisfying.
Aw. See, there's no way to keep your rage going for the boss. They always make sure this corridor is long enough that you lose all of your rage. Hey, it's that guy. Alright. So there's... I need to... I need to kill this guy. Or... Get the last hit with a bomb. Because that's... That's an unlock. No need to rush this. He's not going to do anything else. Besides walking back and forth. So I can just take my time on this. Gotta remember not to kill him with the whip, though. Excellent. Man, I wish I gave you more than one health, or more than one life, when you, uh, when you kill the boss. The Royal Sanctum. It's the first time I've gotten here during a, a hard run, isn't it? Oh, bull crap. Why can't... Mm, I have my familiar. Can I bomb there or something? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, it spells where am I. I just realized that. Well, it makes sense because... Collecting them makes you go to a place where you would actually ask that. Oh, Fudge off, radioactive toast. Nice, got a ticket. I've got a golden ticket. It takes me somewhere weird. Where the walls are made of unicorns. And math. Oh god. And hamburgers and some other stuff. That was a weird place. Oh man! Two hits on the big guys, Duke. Two hits. <sighs> Sigh. Alright, what again? Mm -hmm. And it's like Christmas. Going back to the main menu to open up your presents. Okay, so that's the Kusarigama. That's the one I can, uh. I can kill stuff while hanging off the wall. Which sounds pretty fancy. And I got a bomb boomathon. This upgrade can be detonated remotely. Hmm. I don't usually like remotely detonated bombs in these kinds of games. Do not like it in the Binding of Isaac. And I'm not sure if I'll like it here. Oh well, it's worth trying out at least. Speaking of the Binding of Isaac, there's what, like two weeks until rebirth? Oh wait, no. It's November, not October. So like a month and two weeks. Or no. Like two months, almost. Kill 2,000 enemies. Don't mind if I do. Frog Princess. That's pretty cute. Love that. Instant rage, just add anger. My favorite item in the game so far. Alright, so I want to I want to uh, try to kill enemies while hanging out the wall. Which sounds sounds fun. Talk to him three times, okay, I'm working on it. Don't have the mol Molotov yet, so I can't do that. Reach the first minion without killing any monsters. Hmm, should I try that? That, I mean, it doesn't sound very fun, but it doesn't sound impossible either. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Could go to Transdimensional Leakage. Wait, do I have to collect three of those tickets in one game? Or... Or just collect three of them overall? Oh, wait. Collect three tickets. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's just overall. So I will hang on to my ticket for now. Man, I didn't even realize before now that you couldn't do Transdimensional Leakage. I thought it was just an option that I was scared of. Alright, reach the first boss without killing any enemies. Should've taken a shortcut. Wait. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, well. So much for that. I wanted to, uh, tr wanted to try out my new weapon. Looked like I could do, like, a, uh... Oh, okay. 
So when you're hanging on the wall, it does diagonally down. Da -da -da. Wait, I didn't even realize you could like stick in the corner like that. You just hold up. That's kind of... wait. I guess you're not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah, that, that's not a repeatable action. Okay, well, so much for reaching him without, uh, without killing any enemies, but uh, I wanted to try this weapon out. I like the range on it. It's a little slow for my taste. Definitely going to take some getting used to. Alright, so I need to try to kill enemies while hanging off the wall. Which sounds... Not gonna lie, it sounds difficult. I have to do ten of them in one run. I mean, right now I'm just trying to keep my rage going. So, nothing fancy. Seems like this weapon also has a little bit of leeway as far as uh, verticality is concerned. Wait. Oh. That enemy left behind a chunk, it looked like. Hammerhand. Or Hammerhain. Hmm. Okay, well. I don't know. My opinion about this weapon is mixed. Do not like that little delay. Uh, no thanks. Man, it was nice to him and he starts coming on to me. Hey, you. Oh yeah, detonated bombs. Order. Okay, so if you don't detonate it... Oop! Oh, okay. Well, I had to test the, uh, the detonation trigger. See how quickly I could do it. Oh hey, I know that guy. I have no idea how to say his name. E X Potemkin, X Potemkin. Shit. That was like a battleship, wasn't it? Battleship Potemkin. I think there was a movie about it. I'm not sure though. Man, this looks like it should do more damage than that. I haven't tried my my upgraded katana yet, have I? Probably should. Zepe way fade me. I hope I didn't say something horribly offensive in Chinese there. A shade. Bye, shade. Alright, took quite a bit of damage, but uh, stuff happens, I guess. Alright, any boss related feats I want to, want to attempt? I don't think so. Shit. Yeah, this thing is pretty good for deflecting those bombs, it looks like. Can't get enough height with the bombs to actually blow him up with his own bomb, though. Alright. Still... Feeling a little iffy about this run, but, uh... And I'm gonna have to really try to get those uh, hidden enemy on the wall beats. Need to pay more attention to those buzz balls. I mean, I guess that's that's the whole point of the uh, of the achievements is that you have to really try to get them. Well, it's not the point of all achievements, but it's the point of that achievement. Come on, kill stuff. Kill stuff faster, ninja.
Worth letting my rage expire for two crates, I think. Just points. So, wasn't worth it that time. Shit. Wait, maybe Smither is a ghost. I'm not, not not exactly sure. I only just told me who Smither is, or maybe it has, and I just wasn't paying attention. Shit. All right, that wasn't a great run. Yeah, not a huge fan of this weapon. I'll try for that uh, that wall achievement eventually. But the only thing you get is a, an upgraded version of that. Also destroys traps though. That would be useful. Especially with those statues. There's not really anything you can do about those statues except bomb them. Okay. I'll try for this achievement eventually, but for now, I want to see if I can make a little bit more progress. Try my katana of myth barbarians. Stick with my gun. My favorite projectile so far. Man, plus 30. <laughs> Swing the sword blindly around and it might happen. It might. Surprised I haven't gotten this yet. It feels like some of these runs have gone for 10 minutes. Once I uh, get some more upgrades, I might try this randomization feature. That's probably a fun way to play. Alright, so yeah. Upgraded katana, gun, upgraded bombs. Although I'm not sure how useful of an upgrade it is. Actually, I guess I guess if I can get the hang of exploding them, timing the explosion right, it would be pretty helpful with like the bosses and stuff. Alright, so I wanna see if this Okay. So yeah, that the always decapitate thing means you can kill the big enemies in one hit. That is super nice. Still prefer the range of the whip, but uh, that is a good weapon upgrade. I mean, I, I like how the katana functions. Like, it's a fun weapon to use, but uh, I feel like I'm a little bit safer with the whip. Because I don't have to get so close to enemies. I just have to uh, be better. I have to step up my game. Alright, next time I'll try to get to the boss without killing any enemies. This time, I'm having too much fun beheading stuff. Oh, I already had rage, so that power-up did nothing. And it should give me, like, extra rage. Or an automatic rage when this rage runs out. Maybe it does. I don't know. This rage might not ever run out. I might just keep it going forever. Wouldn't that be awesome? Alright, make sure I talk to that guy just in case that smither. One hit kills on these guys? Very nice. I, m I might, uh... This might replace the whip as my go-to weapon. I wonder if it does extra damage to the boss, too. I'm guessing probably not, because it's not like you can behead the boss. The JD Mew? It's a long time viewer of mine. It's my goal in, the, in this series to kill all of my regular viewers. I think I've killed most of them by now. I'm not sure if I've. I, I'm actually, I'm not sure if I've killed Just Drop yet, which is ironic since he's the one who requested this game. Nah. Sorry, Just Drop. I'll get you eventually. Oh crap! Can I not degrade or decapitate? Degrade. Can I not decapitate the elephant thing? I think I hit it, but it wasn't a one hit kill. Or, I guess that's a pig. It's like a boar. And no, I cannot decapitate it. So yeah, not everything is a one hit kill with this. It was kind of disappointing. Alright, Mantis. I don't like you and you don't like me. Just let me kill you and we can get out of here. So 
So yeah, definitely have to time that better if I want to use bombs to kill these guys. He blew up my bomb! Talk about rude. You're a rude, rude person, Mantis. That's how you do it. Alright, one life down, that's not too bad. These things don't build my rage, do they? No. They're not enraging, they're just annoying. Shit. Man, I was about to say, I was about to brag about my performance because I'm getting a lot better at dealing with the easy stuff, like the monkeys. Hmm. That seems correct. Seems accurate. And those pigs are still very, uh, very dangerous, though, in the way they speed up like that. Nice. Wonder if the uh, kill everything on the screen pickup adds to your rage or not. Damn it. Shit! Crap. Well, apparently I'm not better at dealing with the little stuff. Ugh. Well, that's a pretty good one to get. Shit! Not get down there fast enough. Give me a shield. Alright, so it looks like it is anything, not just a projectile. We'll uh, take out the shield. Good enough. What? I did not even see that buzzsaw down there. B.S. No presents for me. Alright, I'm gonna try to, uh... Try to get through without killing any enemies. See if it's possible. I mean, sure, of course it's possible. But is it doable? Is the question. Did it specifically say the first boss, or can it be any boss? Because if I don't succeed on this boss, I might try on the next one. Oh, bullcrap! I thought he was going to keep walking. I forgot the crate would make him turn around. Is it possible to... No, 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 no. To throw a bomb in there? No, shit. I'm actually not sure. Oh, well. Wanted to go after that crate, but it's a little too dangerous. With all these enemies on the screen. I don't think I've killed anything yet. There might be one I missed, though. The enemies are probably very confused right now. I'm not used to this at all. Well, I got some kind of achievement. Passive-aggressive. Didn't see the unlock pop up, though. It was probably... The achievement was probably a lesser version of the unlock. Like, reach... 
reach floor 300 or reach floor well or reach the first boss really that was exurgia back there another one of my regulars but i wasn't able to kill him i'm very disappointed shit see i'm, I'm worried because sometimes when you get hit it just kills the enemy in the process. So I'm trying trying my best not to get hit. Shit. Oh! See? I got hit. I popped back up and killed that thing without even trying. So, gotta be careful. Oh, well, now I can kill with reckless abandon. Bull! Would have been ace if I didn't land on the spice. Well, try again. I'm pretty sure it specifically said first boss without killing an enemy, so I'm not going to I'm not going to bother trying between now and the next boss. Plus, it'll just be that much harder. I'm trying to see how much damage the bomb does, if it does extra damage at all. Okay, so it's does like three damage in one hit. That's pretty good. Detonation bombs definitely seem worth it now. Could just restart. Nah, that's okay, Saiyajan. Also, welcome to the chat. Good to see ya. I hate this setup. This layout. It takes so much time to get through here without getting hit. And you don't get any rage for it. Oh, bullshit. That was dope. I think this makes a pretty good stream game because it has built in, like, user interaction. Like, will I kill you? Will I leave you alive? That's the question. But, you know, the odds of the person who shows up in the game being in the stream are pretty low. I have not been using my magic at all. I need to remember that. Like, those, those uh, layouts where there's, like, a billion of those bomb dudes on the screen. I need to just use my magic in that situation. Hey, two crates. Damn it. I'm gonna talk to this guy just in case he's smither. I if it's him or the shopkeeper. I think it told me at one point. But I forget if it said smither the ghost or smither the skeleton. Shield! I always immediately lose a shield when I get it. Just like real life. Alright, I don't think smither is a ghost because I've caught the three of those dudes in this run. And I haven't gotten anything. So it must be the shopkeeper. That was my friend Sophie I just murdered. I don't think she's ever come to a stream, but uh... If you're watching Sophie, you're welcome. I should have read that. That looked like it might actually have been useful information. Something about destroying blocks beneath you? Weaken blocks below by crouching and attacking with your weapon. Okay, I, I always just use the pile drive attack on those blocks, but uh, I guess that could be useful. Slim traps are invincible, yes. I haven't been tricked by one of those dragons recently. Oh, come on, I'm so close to rage. There we go. But I immediately have to fight the boss. So it's not very useful. Rage time, five seconds. Yeah, well, it would have been more if that hallway wasn't so freaking long. Ooh. Uh, 
I had the brilliant idea of using my detonating bombs on Torment, but uh, then I forgot to do a super jump. Magic spam, yes, I should have. I always forget my magic, I don't know why. I guess it's because it's on the shoulder button. It was time to hit a shoulder button in this game. I mean, come on. I mean, compared to, uh... Compared to my normal playthroughs, I've definitely improved. You know, killing multiple bosses in one run. I've reached new heights with my score. I guess my uh, my goal, or the next stage of my goal, is to get to Arbargus on one of these runs. If I can make it to the final boss, then uh, well, then there's only one more thing I have to do, and that's kill the final boss. Although I don't know if there's going to be more after Arbar Arbargus in this mode or not. So after that, all I have to do is collect enough tickets to beat the Transdimensional Warp Zone. Or whatever it's called. Hi Smither. Hope I can talk to you twice more in this run. It's totally because I like seeing you. And not because of ulterior motives. I don't have ulterior motives. I'm offended that you would even suggest that. Bonus. Bonus. And out of rage. More rage. Nice. Shit. Man, those pigs are like the bane of my existence at this point. The bane of my existence was those mage guys that pop up every now and then, but uh, shit, I've gotten better at dealing with them. The pigs still, still puzzle me though. Puzzled by the pigs. John Smith, I just killed the white guy in Pocahontas. You know, the world's most famous John Smith. All right. Shit. Looks like the magic does about as much damage as the bomb. Of course, the magic hits multiple things on the screen, which is not useful during the boss fight. Replenished all my magic at the end of the fight, though, so it's definitely... It's definitely worth it. Oh, I think I forgot to, uh... Forgot to not kill anything on my way to the first boss. Oh, well. I mean, you try playing this game and not killing anything. It's tough. I mean, I didn't need to do that since I was raging, but, uh... You know, good to get in the habit, I guess. And there's nine trillion enemies on the screen. Oops! Swung too soon. Still used my whip, I guess. Now, if there's a whip that can decapitate, then I'm in heaven. The best of both worlds. Get the instant kill on the big guys and the extra range. I don't think the upgraded whip has that ability though. Shit! God damn. Okay. Pigs and buzzsaws are the beings of my existence. Oh, right. Two hits. No unlocks. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what the upgraded version of the whip is and how do I get it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the one where I have to, I have to kill two bosses and a boss in one go. Sounds like a pretty good weapon though. Well, I don't know. I don't know I don't know how useful not leaving corpses behind is. But uh but hey, it's a lightsaber. That's something that I recognize from pop culture. Alright, I'm gonna try for that uh that no killing achievement again. I don't have unlimited bonds for this sequence, do I? No, no, I guess not. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna kill anything, guys, I promise. You know, unless my finger finds its way to the attack button. I mean, I can't be held accountable for that, can I? that everyone? I'm bodacious. Oh. Forgot how weak the gun was. That was a pretty crappy rage. I'm not gonna lie. Hey! Free one up, I'll take it. suck. Nice. I'm using my gun to my advantage by trying to keep my, uh, keep my rage going as long as possible. By not wasting any time walking all the way over to those enemies to kill them. I mean, who has time for that? Not me. I don't have time for much of anything except running and decapitating. Those are the only things I have time for these days. That's why I downloaded that new iPhone app, Decapitation Run. You know, keep track of my, uh, my, the amount of steps I take and the amount of people I decapitate very handy app for the uh, ninja in your life. It's a, pedom it's a pedometer and a decap decapitometer. Decapit- Heck yeah. I feel this fight apparently. It's hard to time. It's kind of hard to time any attack against this guy, though. It's probably probably the easiest boss as long as you're patient. You don't try to rush him and don't walk into the bombs. That's why I didn't want to waste any magic on him. Nice letter. I mean, I guess it's not nicer than any of the other letters, but the fact that I got a letter is nice. I think the, my best strategy against the pig, honestly, is to just use my gun. Boy, that's another quote I don't want you taking out of context. Only one way to deal with a pig, that's with your gun. Man, this, uh, this episode is going to get me on some kind of watch list. There's a familiar in that statue. That's worth a bomb. Shit! Damn it. Almost had a rage there for a moment. Ah! 
I tried to uh, super jump there, but I did not get the charge off. Oh, you can't shoot underwater? Oh wait, I guess I can. Just not while I'm swimming. Oh no, I can. Huh, sometimes... Weird, it's like the uh... Oh, or was I at... Maybe I was out of ammo, I'm not sure. Oh, the frog was too low for me to shoot it. I got an E. Not like the letter grade. I got a B in ninja. There we go. A. That's better. That's more like it. That's my true grade. Not really. Actually, I would, I would give myself a solid C in this game at this point. I've uh, I've learned quite a bit about it. Shit! I've done my homework. Got my studying in. Three hit points. Not encouraging. Oh, it's just this guy. Hi, Torment. Yep. That's what I meant, meant to do. I just wanted to kill him with nothing but bombs. Not for any particular reason. Just, uh... I wanted it to be fancy. Yes, give me a time refill immediately when I start the level. That's very useful. Shit! Frogs are pretty bad too. I don't know if they're being of my existence level yet. Oh my god. What am I doing? No unlocks. I probably got I got all the easy ones by now. Alright. Do not kill any enemies. That means don't get hit either. Because there's a good chance that if I get hit, I will accidentally kill an enemy in the process. And I don't want that to happen. Of course, it's easier said than done. Good thing most of these enemies aren't aggressive. They just kind of walk back and forth. Corpse Jr. That's a pretty good name. That's one of my Steam friends. I approve of your name. I don't think it is though. I think that's just one of the uh, one of the named enemies in the game. What is my familiar? Is it like is it supposed to be a small version of me? Or or <coughs> does does it just match its color to whatever color you're wearing? Maybe. And it's just like a fairy thing? I'm not sure. Also, I'm not sure what that unlock you get for saving fairies is. I'm not sure what that refers to. Maybe that's only something in the crazy zone. Or, as it's known properly in this game, the zone of messed up stuff. And when you told me not to kill any enemies, I didn't know you meant monkeys too. Who would have... Who could have guessed that? I guess I can start killing stuff now. I kill that dumb monkey. That's why I need to get the monkey bane. If I try for that achievement again. Looks like a fairy with a pickaxe. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I guess that makes sense. The way it, like, uh... 
it finds secrets for you because it like it breaks blocks and stuff. Oh god! Forgot that was a big guy. Oh, hey, Pinfodor. That's another one of my regular viewers. Not sure if I've killed him before or not. And there's Exurgion again. Exurgion is the one who uh, made the script that, that allows me to put the chat room as subtitles in the video when I do streams, which is pretty nice. Thanks, Exurgion. Oh god. I don't like this guy. I think I'm just going to magic spam and gun spam. Oh, I'm out of magic. I thought I had one more. I mean, I'm sure that boss is easy once you figure out its trick, but, uh, I'm not sure what it is yet. I like the slow motion, uh, spin attack when you go underwater. That's pretty nice. Shit! Of course, I get the shield, which means I have to immediately get hit. That's the rule. Excellent. Bonus. Every time it says bonus, I picture the game Soda Drinker Pro, where it says bonus soda. Man, I should stream that game. That would be a real barn burner. Some excitement in Soda Drinker Pro. Oh god. With all those lasers. Shit, I should have shot the pig. Oh, okay, that's cool. If I die and revive, uh, it starts me with a magic if I didn't have any magic. That's good enough. Oh, God! These are like devil maggots. They're disgusting. I mean, I guess all maggots are devil mag maggots. And something that disgusting could not have been from the benevolent creator. Freaking skeleton. No. Oh shit. No. I got fixated on that ninja up above me because he had an item. Just trying to figure out what it was. Alright, what time is it? 20 to 9? Guess I can keep going. Get at least two hours out of the stream. Let me pause and take a drink. Okay. Don't kill anything. I meant to see if he, uh, if it specifically says a boss or just the first boss. Oh, I guess you can't shoot the, uh, box. No, no! Dang it. I want to, uh, I want to actually try for this one this time, instead of just continuing. At least put in put in a good effort. Is that soon into the run? No. Kind of reminiscent of the Splunky No Gold run I've been attempting. It's weird to play a game 
and not do the number one thing you've been trained to do the entire time you've been playing the game. Like in Splunky, it's, you know, you gotta get yours. Sucker! Oh well, I guess I'm far enough in that I might as well keep going. Oh wait, I wanna try something. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. With the, uh... Why did, why did I go that way instead of just killing these guys? There's a prime rage building area. It's a prime area if you want to angry up the blood. Oh, nice. Another smart bone. I wonder if, uh, if Sasperility isn't unlockable in this game because it angers at the blood. And then they give you a little extra rage. I think it was Sasperilla. That's a Simpsons reference, by the way. I'm not allowed to drink sarsaparilla tea. It angries up the blood. Am I still raging? Yeah, I guess so. Like, I shot something and took two hits to die, so I wasn't sure. Be a Mexican, I think. I think Be a Mexican used to come to my streams, but I haven't seen him or her in a while. You suck, monkey. See, that's just yet another reason why I hate monkeys. They're always the most annoying enemy in the game. After the bat. The bat and the monkey. The most annoying enemies in any game that has them. And this one doesn't have bats. So, monkey is the most annoying. Shit! I was watching his life bar instead of the screen. Oh well. Don't pay too much attention to, an, to the boss's life bar. It doesn't help you. Shit! Oh man, I shot him, but not before he shot me. Oh, is this bullshit again? Okay, this is what I should have done. Kinda of forgot I could bomb the spikes. Shit! Okay. Well, I missed that time up there because I got fixated on keeping my rage going. Shit! Man, that five minutes underwater. That is going to be a scary achievement to try for. Oh, hello, uh, Sarah the Lich. I nice see you. Yeah, quiet night. I, I don't think people are as interested in this game as some of the other games I play, which, which is cool. I like it a lot. And I'm having fun sharing it with anyone who's interested. Oh, man. <sighs> Should have shot the pig. Damn it. No presents. I well, still have about 15 minutes till 9, so might as well try. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you commented on one of my dungeon hack videos recently. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. That's uh, that's always good to hear.
So for those of you just tuning in, there's an item I unlock if I make it to the first boss without killing any enemies. And uh, that's that's what I'm trying for. If I accidentally kill something, then uh, then I'll just continue the run normally. But uh, I want to at least try. I don't, I don't even remember what item I get for that. Some kind of weapon, I think. Oh no! Shit. See, the problem with trying for that item is that if you get hit, you do an attack automatically when you get up. So not only do you have to not kill anything, you have to not get hit either. Or if you do get hit, hope there's no enemy near you when you pop back up. See, without time, a game recognizes my radical moves. In the games, just don't, uh, don't take the time to compliment me like that. I think Deadly Premonition is the only the only game uh, besides this where if you uh, do something like that, it sounds like great, excellent. I'm sure there are other games, but uh, other games that do it, but not not with the flair that this game or Deadly Premonition has. Nice. No, no, no! Kill the pig! Kill the pig! Aw, oh, crap! I'm out of bullets! I wanted to shoot that guy. Oh well. Oh, that sucks, Sarah. Uh, I recommend, if you're a fan of Giant Bomb, or even if you're not, they did a... It's called an endurance run of Deadly Premonition where they played the whole thing. That's, that's a pretty good way to experience it, I think. Wait. Can I, like... You can, like, hold jump to float a little bit. Like, I didn't even notice that. Like, look. Normal jump. Hold the button. See? It's like... Y you can hardly tell. But you, like, float a little bit if you hold the jump button. I did not know that. Yeah, Giant Bomb does cool stuff. I mean, they're a little hard on the game, to be honest. You know, they're not as forgiving of, of the game's flaws as I would be, but, uh, it's a pretty entertaining watch. Shit. Alright, I need to learn what causes him to go to the left wall as opposed to the right, so I can get ready to react. It might just be, like, shit. I think it's whichever side he's a the farthest away from is the side he goes. Shit! Is the side he goes towards. Oh my god, that attack is so fast. Oh my god. I am not a fan of that boss. The game is a bit goofy in some ways. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, uh,. Technically, it's not a Marvel or anything, but, um, you know, it's just, it's so unique, you know. It's one of the few games that I was able, able to overlook the really terrible mechanics to, uh, to enjoy the story of the game. That's usually not how, how I operate. Man, I was raging. I should have just run through those guys. Oh, well. Damn it! I tried to do a, uh, tried to do a, a butt stomp, or whatever it's called in this game. A pile driver, but, uh, it didn't work. The great thing about this game is that by the time I'm able to commentate on something, it's like, it might as well have been an hour ago for how quickly this game goes. Damn it. 
keep expecting my rage to pop. There it goes. I guess I just wasn't killing stuff fast enough. Hmm. Oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't go after those crates while I'm raging. Keeping my, keeping my rage going seems to be more important. Well, this is a roguelike, or an action roguelike, I guess. So, this is kind of part of the deal. Dying a lot, starting over a lot. Oh no! Shh! God damn it! I didn't realize until it was too late that that was going to kill everything on the screen. Shit! Well, that's not the most efficient way to get those. By blowing myself up. Nice! It's weird that I get more people in the chat room during my, like, 3 a.m. streams where I'm just messing around in Splunky, not really doing much, than I do in this game. I, I guess because it's so frenetic, it might not be as much fun to watch as, as Splunky. I mean, I can definitely see how it'd just be hard to follow what's going on. So, so I can understand. And if I didn't fixate on getting that H, I probably would have kept the rage going. Oh well. Oh, rage over. Oh well. Damn it! I need to remember which one of those spiky-headed guys throws stuff and which one doesn't. I think it's always the blue one that throws stuff at you. Oh, you like this game more than Splunky? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just, uh, just depends on the person's taste. Everyone must be busy. Yeah, that, that might be part of it, too. Oh, well. See, the thing about this hobby is that you have to do it whether people are watching or not because if you get if you get obsessed with people not watching your stream then it's just going to be too depressing to continue I don't like this guy shit I need to just do this every time I have to fight him spam bullets, spam magic might not be honorable but damn it I'd rather be a dishonorable alive person than an honorable dead person. Oh really sir? I've done a ton of, of Splunky streaming recently. It's one of my favorite games of all time. No! I did my uh, my, my pile driver attack when there were rocks on top of the spikes. Well, that rage didn't last very long. Oh god! Oh hey, I got a new suit! Might not be... The most useful upgrade, but it's something. It's a present, at least. No! Oh yeah, I'm still raging, that's right. Man, I need to find some ammo. Quick! Well, not quick, I guess, just at some point. Oops. 
No, buzzsaws! I hate you! I hate you so much because I always think you're going to be an enemy that I can kill. And then you're not. You're a buzzsaw that kills me. Damn it! Oh well. Oh, hey, Pinfuldorf again. What's up, man? Man, why does it always make Pinfuldorf a bird? That's like typecasting. See, if there's only one of those pigs, I'm probably better off using my uh, pile driver or slash attack or whatever you want to call it. Hey, nice! Then shooting it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get more ammo eventually. Shit! Hey, buddy! No, the monkey! <sighs> Crap! Damn it! I need to be more careful when when I'm not on the verge of running out of time. What do I usually stream? Uh, recently it's been a lot of Splunky, usually late night on the weekends. And uh, those those streams, I call them chill streams because I don't necessarily talk as much as I do during, during other streams. And then I've been doing Saints Row 4 co-op with Moore's Draconis. We do that about once a week or so. So, and uh, you know, I, I like to vary it up a little bit. But yes, yeah, Splunky's probably the big one. And then in November, when the Binding of Ice Rebirth comes out, that'll be a big one for me. Like a lot, a lot of roguelikes or action roguelikes, I guess, are kind of what I focus on when I'm doing stuff by myself. I was streaming some FTL, but that game's really difficult, and not the kind of game I normally play. I mean, I liked it. I just wasn't sure if I could keep it entertaining during a stream. Oh hey, Moisture Kenos, what's up? I killed you earlier. So, sorry man. Yep, I also cannot wait for the Binding of Isaac remake. I already purchased it. And got the, uh... The discount. Because I already own the Binding of Isaac. Shit! Alright, well, let's look at my new suit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Green dragon suit. Oh, I was, I was expecting it to be brighter green. Based on the icon, but it's actually like a pale green. Murder 3,000 enemies. Yep. I deserve it. Oh yeah, Abyss Odyssey. That game is really good. I need to, uh... I need to see what the new content in that game is, because it's been updated a whole bunch since the last time I streamed it. Well, hell, I hate to end the stream now that there are finally people here, but, uh... I do have work tomorrow, so I can't stay up too much later. Uh, let's do at least one more run with my green dragon suit. Hopefully it will bring me luck. I'm gonna hold on to my ticket, I still only have the one. At least the tutorials always the same, I say, as I get hit in a really dumb way. Daikatana Dreadful. Well, as much as I would like to kill any reference to Daikatana, I can't yet. Oh, hey, Chibi UFO. She's, uh, I haven't seen her in a while, but 
she was a pretty regular viewer for a while. <clears throat> Stay away from me, monkey. You are my worst enemy when I'm attempting not to kill anything. I, I need to pay, pay closer attention to the power-ups I pick up because I don't want to get a smart bomb. Oh god. Oh my god. This, this area is so hard to get through without killing anything. Well, if I can unlock whatever that weapon is, no, it'll uh, it'll make doing the stream worth it. Shit. Really would have liked to go after that health, but uh, I probably would have killed something in the process. Yeah, I'll take an R. No, shit. Damn it, why am I so deadly? If only... If only I could control my murderous tendencies. Ammo. Shit. Well, I'll probably get a rage again, actually. So I don't know what I'm worried about. Damn it, I was so close to the boss, too. Oh god, it's this guy. Stay away from me. Oops. I forgot it doesn't do any good to do that like twice in a row. Well, at least I have all my. Well, not all my ammo. How much ammo as I started with? Shit! Uh, I have to get to the first boss, Morris, to, uh, to get that upgrade. There's some option you have on that gives you damage on wake up. I don't think so. Pretty sure that just always happens. Can't get to the options menu from here anyway. I didn't notice it showed showed you your stats down there in the bottom left hand corner. I've apparently rescued a fairy, but I don't know what that entails. A ninja using a gun. Yeah, I know it's sacrilege, but uh You know, I'm I'm gonna roll with it. Shit! God damn monkeys. I haven't found monkey bane in a while. Yeah, that'd be helpful game. No! There's some points up there, but oh well. Oh god! A herd of pigs. Pig elephants. Ella pigs. McNeely. Hey, I wonder if that's Brad McNeely. I really like his cartoons. And it would make sense since this is an this is an adult swim game. And he has a cartoon on Adult Swim. Might be a deliberate shout out. Hey, wow, I'm glad I went up there now. Got an extra life out of it. Oh, my rage wore off. But it's back. Oh, I got an unlock. Nice. That's probably just the uh, kill X number of enemies one. See, if I want to get the unlock for playing for 10 minutes and stuff, then what I should do is, every time I get to a time power-up, I should just let my clock tick, tick down all the way, and uh, and that will add to my total playtime artificially. And those are those are hard to get. Of course, the bad thing about streaming this chat, or streaming this game, is that I can't look at the chat as much as I normally do. 
Ninjas aren't real. Next you'll be telling me Santa Claus isn't real. Now there's still ninjas, right? It's not just like an extinct thing. Pretty sure there's still ninjas in the Yakuza. Seems like they would get a lot of use out of ninjas. The official mob ninja. Yeah, that'd be a good idea for a video game. A crossover Yakuza slash ninja game. No! Oh. Well, I uh, I botched my uh, my super jump, but I didn't take damage from that anyway. Nice! Haven't seen one of those in a while. Mr. Rage, just to add water. Just add anger. Shit! God damn radioactive toast. Why was that skeleton so fast? Have they been feeding the skeletons amphetamines or something? Shit. Oh god. This is one of the uh, one of the better runs I've had during the stream. Man, if I get that weapon that can destroy traps, those buzz souls are going to be so much easier to deal with. What do you have to say? Oh, okay, this is Smither. It's not the ghost. Oh, hey, I got another ticket. I didn't even realize. Master Ninja. Is that a is that a show or another game? Is that like a reality show about ninjas or something? Oh god. And like cake boss but for ninjas. Oh stupid dragon. See, it's tempting to go after those crates, but with, with those statues there, not going to be worth it. Excellent. And there are no enemies, of course. Very helpful game. I remembered. No! I tried to kill all three frogs at once and it didn't work. Oh, it's an MST3K thing. Okay. Or it's a show that MST3K did. All right, got a new bomb. Excellent. Well, that's that's a good note to end the stream on, I think. Oh, apparently I got two tickets in that run. Wow. Because I only had the one. I wonder what my what my time was for that run. Because it felt pretty close to ten minutes. Yeah, there's no option for like automatically attack when you get back up or anything. It's just a just a classic ninja move. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, definitely look forward to trying the dynamite next time. Destroys any scenery. Wow. Except for the outer walls. So you could like go around a potentially bad situation with this.
just blast your way through the dungeon. That'd be pretty awesome. Alright, well, um, I guess that'll about do it. I'd like to keep going, but unfortunately, I have ugh, obligations. And I should probably not go to work with six hours of sleep tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it. Thanks to everyone Thanks to everyone for coming out. Uh, Sarah, Sai, I, Morris. Sorry, uh, sorry I ended the stream pretty soon after you showed up, but uh, I'll do another one of these pretty soon. Probably another stream of some sort this week. So, uh, yeah. Look for, uh, look for the most recent Saints Row 4 video going up tomorrow, I think. And then this video will probably be up the day, the day after that, I think. Or, or I might reverse the order of that, I'm not sure. Anyway, night everyone.